All right. What is going on, everybody? So the Fed Reserve, Jay Powell, had his talk today and basically said that they will indeed be raising rates in March. That was kind of what everybody expected. They're going to hold the rates at near zero, and they're ready to increase those rates by like 0.25%. So it's really kind of pathetic that everyone's freaking out about it, but it's something that uh, you know really ought to be done. Um, the unfortunate side is, is that the Federal Reserve at the meeting today basically, you know, they kind of glanced over it. There's no way that they're just going to, you know, repeatedly talk themselves into a ditch and say, yeah, we overstimulated the economy, even though they overstimulated the economy by about three quarters. And, um, and now we're going to be stuck holding that inflationary bag. So, you know, just taking a look over here at, uh, you know, just quick headline grabs, you know, interest rate hike is coming in March. There's still the belief that there will be four rate hikes uh, the calendar year of 2022. Uh, many believe them to be of just 0.25%, and then at the end of the year, it'll be one. Um, I don't necessarily think that's going to be the case. I think maybe we'll start slow, but they will ramp it up as, um, as basically as inflation gets under control. But inflation is still way, way, way out of control. So, um, however, the market did... Um, the market did, um, you know, react to that news. Uh, Peter Schiff over here, Powell claims the economy is much stronger now than it was the last time the Fed started raising rates. Um, so they're going to adjust their policy accordingly, basically meaning that they're going to be more hawkish than before. Uh, but the economy isn't stronger, it's just bigger. Um, so, uh, you, know, the, you know, the concern is not... Are we in a housing crisis? The concern is that we are in an everything crisis. So, um, but either way, let's take a look. Uh, overall, ended around 173 green today. Uh, kept it really, really small. Did one trade before the Fed gave their meeting in the morning. Uh, waited quite a while, just a quick uh, put on that. And then the rest of it was just uh, on NVIDIA waiting for uh, these volatile swings. Now you see here Tesla. Um, opened up here, the whole market really gapped up, massive rally. This was going into the conference. This was just people speculating on what would be said. And then this is as the conference starts again. And then here is Jay Powell talking. So Tesla went from 987, 69 as a high, all the way down to 906. So what is that, 80, $81 move in the matter of an hour less than that half hour. So um, big turnaround. And then now, um, so interestingly enough, the market closed around uh, 930-ish. Let's see, we closed at 937. Right now we're at around 937, which is quite interesting considering, uh, let's see if we can bring this over. Uh, this is after hours here, so a big runoff got down to around 880. I thought we were going to make a closer push to 840, um, but now we are jumping back up, grinding back up to the upside, which is fine with me. I'm not invested in this in any way, shape, or form, but I was with um, NVIDIA. So NVIDIA, again, not investment, just, just playing these bounces. Uh, as it came down, I got involved in this. Um, you know, just 100 shares sold out at just 100 shares over there uh, at 2.30, sold out for a $20 move, a six, and then a 20, uh, another $20 move, and then once more did it again. And that's just because these dips were looking good. I actually came, uh, I was messing in the garage. I came over here, saw this, and I just, it was, I, I thought we were going to get another push to the downside. So, you know, in hindsight, I should have just, went all in, but um, that wasn't exactly the uh, the plan and it just, it worked out that way. Um, now, and then last but not least, probably my favorite trade of the day would be over here. So on Nvidia, same thing, I was selling, so the, the volatility was increasing rather significantly uh, pretty quickly on this drop and I tried to sell a um, cash secured put and I finally got it through on this on this drop uh, here 
right here. I, I got it through on this drop right here. Uh, sold it at 430. Uh, you can see here I'm already 19% in the money. 19% um, 81, 82 dollars uh, after commissions. If this thing uh, stays above 220 for the next two days, which I'm very bullish that it will. Uh, considering we're already up in the 229s right now and after hours just floating above as Tesla's going up It's kind of carrying all the tech with it, which is good. This thing doesn't have earnings for like three more weeks So it's not too worried. Um, I will be able to collect the full 430 on that. So uh, Realistically if this thing uh, Since the meeting there's gonna be a lot of uh, volatility crush tomorrow. So if this thing gaps over 235 this thing will probably you know print a good hundred plus dollars overnight anyway, so that's it for me um, small day, kept it small, didn't want to risk anything much, um, but that's it. I'll catch you on the next one.